One of Dogen's best-known texts is the Fukan Sazengi, the universal recommendation of Zazen, which is his instructions about how to do Zazen. Um, what a lot of people don't know is that that text is an almost uh, exact copy of a text that was written about a hundred years before that, um, a Chinese uh, chap, uh, Chonglu Tsung Tse, and his manual of Zen meditation. So, um, in the earlier uh, text, almost um, word for word, um, the same things appear. But, uh, what uh, Dogen has done is uh, he's added a chunky section at the beginning and uh, added a section at the end. So what's interesting and innovative uh, about Dogen is what he's added but also more specifically what he's not incorporated from the earlier work. And specifically he's not incorporated a passage in the earlier work which reads, when the water of meditation is clear the peril of the mind will appear of itself. Um, so this uh, uh, idea of the mind in meditation being like water has got uh, quite a vintage to it. So in the um, Surangama Sutra, for example, um, we um, are told that in still water, um, the moon will reflect itself clearly, the moon being a um, symbol of uh, enlightenment. And um, you can also uh, see how this uh, still water uh, clearly reflecting um, everything is of a piece with another metaphor which is very popular in Zen, which is the mirror. And this um, image of the peril that Tsung says is using in his text is kind of like the same thing, but instead of the clear water um, enabling a perfect reflection of above um, to be made, the clear water means that we can just look down um, clearly and see the peril uh, of the fruit of our practice. And it's noteworthy um, in Dogen's uh, writings, um, and in particular his poetry, that he really radicalises and changes fundamentally uh, this notion that our mind should be like still water. So, for example, in his poem uh, Shobogenzo, uh, he writes, The Dharma, like an oyster, washed atop a high cliff. Even waves crashing against it, like words, may reach, but cannot wash it away. So, um, in that in that poem, we have him taking the um, the the uh, hackneyed image of still water and kind of radicalising it as uh, turbulent uh, to the extent that it actually throws um, the uh, peril um, out of the the water and onto a, a high cliff. Zazen is often referred to as the mountain still state, but what is a cliff other than a sundered mountain? Um, so um, something in which the um, this uh, surging universal life uh, touches its heart rather than swirls around its form. And so our uh, white cliff of bone uh, practicing um, zazen is sometimes uh, touched by um, emptiness and sometimes uh, touched by the whole surging weight of this ocean of everything. 
And so we can see, amongst other things, that the metaphor of the water and the waves has taken on a fundamentally different meaning. So specifically, it's gone from the personal to the universal. So um, the original meaning of the metaphor is my mind quietens down, so I'm able to see the pearl, I'm able to clearly reflect the moon up in the sky and so on. But the way that Dogen uh, radicalises the image, the water is no longer seen in those terms, but rather it's seen in terms of the whole activity of everything. And the practice is seen to be not my practice, but our practice, the activity of all beings.